Let's try with another problem. Here, two sides of a triangle have lengths 7 and 4 centimeters. The area between the sides is 73 degrees. Find the area of the triangle. We're going to draw this triangle here. So let's see now, 4 and 7. I like making the longer side of my base. So here's 7, here's 4, and the angle between them is 73 degrees. Well, here we have uh, two sides, angle included. Let's use our formula. 1 half, and this is the, the product of two sides, 4 and 7, times the sine of the angle measure, 73 degrees. Okay? So now, now this is... Plugging to calculator, all right? Let's take a look. One half times four times seven times the sine of 73. Okay, so the calculator. One half times four times seven times the sine of 73 degrees. Okay, and just enter a calculator and boom, we have 13.3882665. Uh, we're round to nearest tenth in this case. You know, in, you know, there'll be times when we ask us around this nearest whole number, nearest foot, nearest centimeter. Uh, so 13.3882 or 13.4 centimeters. Let's take a look. In this case, uh, so we'll say 13. So our area is going to be 13.4 centimeters squared. Please do not forget to put the square on the on the units. Okay, and now. That's some of our basic problems. And you just have to, again, draw a triangle, label a triangle, know in this case we're dealing with the size, which angle and all, and from there we should be able to find the area. But what if we want to find, we had the area and we'll find other pieces? For example, the area of triangle PQR is 15, the side P is 5, and side Q is 10. Find all possible measures of angle R. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Let's see now. All right, first draw a triangle. So here's our triangle PQR. Uh, P, let's make in this case, since we're looking for R, I'm looking for R here. Here's P and here's Q. So lowercase p is five. Oh, well, maybe I should switch this so it looks a little more like it should be, okay? So since the side is five, so I'll put this P and put Q here because the side opposite of P, angle P is lowercase p is five, and the side opposite angle Q is lowercase q, 10. And we know the area, it says they give us the area, is 15. So the area of the triangle is 15. Now that's not my angle, that's my area. We're trying to find this angle here, or what I'll call theta. Okay, so in this case, again, theta is going to be that, that kind of that symbol we use to show, uh, in this case, that the unknown value, if you will. So, so area of the triangle is equal to one half, it would be P times Q sine of R. Notice that the, we have the two sides, PQ and the angle R. So notice the triangle, in this area of triangle, we're using the letters PQ and R, is just the two sides, the lowercase, and the angle we're trying to, angle we're involved is going to be the uppercase letter. So. Now we fill in, and we see that the angle area is going to be 15 is equal to 1 half, P is 5, and Q is 10. And we want to find the sine of R. Okay, so let's see now. I know I can multiply out the half times the 5 times the 10 and get, uh, well, 50 to, to, uh, times 1 half is 25 sine of r. And since we're trying to find the sine, the sine of the angle, we're going to find the ratio of dividing both sides by 25. Leaving us with the sine of r is equal to 15 over 25. Now, you feel like simplifying 3 fifths is fine. But remember, we're trying to find an angle measure, and the procedure to find an angle measure is not sine, but sine negative 1. Here it would be 15 over 25. Now let's go to the calculator. Now here's the important part of this. Okay? We want to be able to get this uh, sine of the angle to be about, in this case, the 15 over, over 25, it's about, uh, let's say, 350.6. So we'll go to our calculator, 
So sine negative one, so a second sine, whoops, that here, second sine, a second sine of 15 over 25, 15 divided by 25, and we get in this case 36.869897.65. So it's about 36.87 or 36.9. Okay. Now here's the thing. Okay. All right. So 36.9. Let's, let's see if it, makes, if it makes sense though. Okay. Now we know the sine of. So in this case, the measure of angle R is equal to 36.9 degrees, approximately in this case. Right? Now, let's try to find this out. Let's see, there's a sign of 36.9 going to give us, uh, in this case, 0. 0.6, 15 over 25 is 0. 0.6, right? In case you want to check out, we go to our calculator, calculator. And so, just to make sure, 15 divided by 25 should be 0. 0.6. Okay, so let's see, 36.9 degrees. So, the sign of 36.9 degrees. Okay, that's equal to 0 0.60042. Again, our reason why we get this number and not 0 0.6 exactly because we round it off. So it's very, very close though. You know, we're using angle measures now to round off. We're going to get this. Now, I said all angle measures. So is there another angle measure that might work out to give us the same value? For example, Maybe not 36.9, but, hmm, let's say, for example, 143.1. Oops. One. Hmm, let's see. Now, you might say, how did you get this number, all right? Well, first off, let's see if the number works. Oh my goodness, the same exact number, but different angle measures. What is the relation between these angle measures? Now, this relationship will be very important for us for our next lesson. But for now, we go back and we see in this case that the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle, is going to be going back to our formula of, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the air triangle and multiply two sides by the sine of the angle included between them and divide by two, or in this case, one half AB sine C, one half BC sine A, and one half AC sine B. Okay? So now you might want to test out your ideas about what other angles might work out when we do this. No, try them out. No, we'll have a short discussion afterwards. Okay? All right. I'll see you in the next video.